Happy Lunar New Year to everyone watching this video from around the world. I hope the year of the tiger will be a prosperous one for you. If the year of the tiger turns out to be the year of the pussy cat, well, at least we still have the Rust programming language. So continuing with the Rust series, Rust does have a foothold in the JavaScript world. And for better or for worse, JavaScript is the de facto scripting language in the web browser, at least for the time being. Some of you may have heard of something called Node.js, which again, for better or for worse, has shown up in multiple places within the last 10 to 12 years. The gentleman who created Node.js is this gentleman here, Ryan Dahl. Ryan made a video a while back highlighting the 10 things that he re regretted about Node.js in the creation process. I know what you're thinking, only 10 things? Well, my top three concerns about Node.js are security, security, and, oh yeah, security. Node.js utilizes the Google V8 engine, the V8 JavaScript, JavaScript engine, which powers Chrome and also powered nodes. V8, V8 was written in C++, and so was Node.js. If you would like to read more about the V8 engine, or you're looking for a cure for insomnia, you may read about the V8 engine here. Now, because JavaScript is a single-threaded language, a single thread of execution, you need some sort of mechanism for asynchronicity. Node.js uses this library here called Libuff um, for, uh, to do as an async mechanism. And Libuff was written primarily in C, as you can see here. So based on lessons learned from Node.js or as a form of penance for creating Node.js or some combination thereof, Ryan has created a new JavaScript and TypeScript runtime equivalent to Node called Dino that deals with some of the shortcomings of Node.js, in particular the security. Now, this video is not a tutorial for Dino, but merely just a demo of how Rust has a foothold in the JavaScript world. If there's enough interest, I might do a Dino with React tutorial. Dino is written entirely in Rust, and here are some repository on this GitHub account for Dino. Like Node.js, Dino also allows for bindings. Instead of using Libuff, Dino uses a different asynchronous runtime for Dino, and it's called Tokyo. And so why did Ryan choose Tokyo. Well, funny you should ask that. And this is the reason. This is Ryan Dahl's account here on GitHub. And he said, Tokyo is a Rust module which works with the future abstraction. Libuff is C and would necessitate building a bridge to run futures. So there's your answer. Now, yeah, so Dino does fix some of the shortcomings of Node, but is it faster and better than Node.js? Well, I think that's a subjective. For the time being, this is still a subjective question. Node.js, like COBOL, like Java, 
like C, like C++, isn't going away anytime soon. There's just way too many apps in production for it to just disappear overnight. But if people who stood on the sideline while Node.js was taking off, but had an inkling to jump to the JavaScript world, Dino might be their solution. Oh, by the way, um, there is a benchmark site comparing Node.js to Dino. Now, they do update this site every now and again. And currently, certain things are faster in Node.js and certain things are faster in Dino. The issue is that Dino still uses the V8 engine, which is written in C++. It is conceivable that one day Google might decide to rewrite V8 using Rust. Google, after all, is one of the corporate sponsor of the Rust Foundation, which was started last year. Rust now, for better or for worse, has many big corporate overlord. But I would surmise that the V8 engine is sort of like the choke point for Dino. Uh, fortunately, there are some opportunity for Dino to optimize for speed that hasn't been addressed yet. You can install Dino like you would install Node.js, or you can download the entire Rust binary and compile it yourself. So let's do a quick comparison. So let's run Node. Node gives you sort of like a COI and a Rebel to play around with locally. So does Dino. Okay, nothing, uh, nothing revolutionary there, but I think the important thing about Dino is the lack of node modules inside of your project, keeping it much cleaner and more secure. Okay, so if you like my brand of humor, and if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves.